When hosting a professional development day, I wanted to be able to have a maximum number of participants for each of the sessions we were offering. I also wanted our Google Form to update automatically so that all participants could only sign up for the sessions in which there was still space remaining. So what I've done is I've created a form and in that form I have our six different workshops that are available with their descriptions at the top. And beneath that what you see are the four different blocks where the teachers can sign up. The Form Ranger script is able to draw the options for my multiple choice questions from a worksheet in my Form Responses Google Spreadsheet. Instead of writing in the information, I've written in a formula that will allow a count of the number of participants for a particular session, which in this case, for demonstration purposes, I've set to three. And it will either display the session that's available or it will display a blank. If it displays a blank, Form Ranger will no longer offer that session to the next person that attempts to sign into my form. I can do different sessions for different blocks. That has absolutely no importance. And each session can have a different cap based on what it is that I write in that formula. I can now demonstrate the use of this formula by displaying my form. My first participant will enter her choices. She'll enter one, two, three, and four for the four different blocks. Once that's submitted, the second participant can go ahead and successfully register for the same four blocks because currently there's still space in those workshops. When the third participant registers, once again, there won't be any difficulty to register because we've allowed a maximum of three participants for each of these workshops. But once the fourth participant attempts to register, she can go ahead and select options one, two, three, and four because I'm demonstrating here where she would have opened her form before the last person will have submitted her information. So when she attempts to submit, it will return that those blocks are no longer available. And now you can see that Atelier 1, which is the first workshop, has now disappeared from the first choice. So she now needs to make a different selection. And in block B, you'll notice that Atelier 2 is the one that is currently missing, and she can make a different selection. If a new participant opens up the form, after certain blocks have been filled, only the remaining options will be visible and that allows you to have the proper cap to each of your different sessions for your PD. Good luck.